State Department continues to support President Trump's strong leadership and whole of government approach to protect Americans. There's no higher duty for us. I'm sure you've all seen the President's briefings and updates from CDC and HHS, and the good news that Deborah Burks from our team here at the State Department is now serving as the White House Coronavirus Response Coordinator. She will do an excellent job for the American people. We're proud to have her uh, being part of that team. The uh, State Department has implemented aggressive travel restrictions, updated travel advisories, and worked with the private sector to ensure U.S. citizens and travelers are informed and safe. And as I said in my last press briefing, we're helping other countries keep their people safe, too. For instance, we're working with Italy and South Korea, two countries that have been hit especially hard, uh, to create effective exit screenings for passengers coming to the United States. We've also extended offers to help the Islamic Republic of Iran, and we hope that the government around will heed our offers of humanitarian assistance and medical supplies. On Monday, uh, our USAID announced $37 million in financing allocated for countries affected or at high risk of the Wuhan virus's spread. Uh, that comes on top of the $100 million in humanitarian assistance and delivery of more than 17 tons of assistance uh, that the United States has sent to the Chinese people back in January. 